everybody and welcome back to a new vlog or a new random rambles today I'm just my hair is a mess but I've been filming videos anyway and I've just got to stop on a pair of leggings because I've been cleaning and washing and doing that kind of thing today it's Friday so the weekend is coming soon it's basically the weekend now I suppose um, Josh always finishes work early on a Friday which is always exciting um, and I'm really really looking forward to this weekend because last weekend he was away all weekend like working away um so even though i had a weekend like normal because we usually do things at the weekend it felt like it wasn't the weekend does that make sense but we are going away on holiday next week so i'm super 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 excited but this weekend we're going to do some like kind of prep for it um and we are going to like a log cabin type of holiday and it's going to be a bit more of like a walking holiday we've got a lot of those type of activities to do and that's why josh bought his walking boots in the last vlog if you saw that um i've had walking boots for a while but i have found they have been hurting my ankles um not necessarily rubbing but more like just pressing on my ankles um so we've been putting some stuff on them and kind of loosening them up and um my mum has had a walking boots like for a long time so she knows quite a lot about how to um i don't know fix them and stuff so we've been kind of hammering them and doing different things and they have been a lot better i've been kind of trying to walk with them um you know a bit more um leading up to the holidays so i'm trying to wear them in a bit but I, i've had them for a year and i went on a massive walk on the last vlog and by the end of it it was just killing me and i couldn't then put them on the next day it hurt so bad so i thought well i don't really want that problem but then i bought a pair of boots that aren't walking boots but they're just like um nice wintry boots so i do have a pair of wintry boots now which i can kind of i want to take them on holiday and the walking boots so i'm not just always wearing walking boots obviously and i'll probably take a pair of sketches as well because you know me but you can't wear them in the rain because it just like seeps through to your foot anyway um but i wanted to start this video here because i didn't want to just randomly start it tomorrow um and I felt like it would just be a random start. So I want to hopefully film today, Saturday and Sunday. And then I'll be going on Monday. And just let you guys, this is going to be what we're going to take with us. Um, what kind of things we're going to pack for this type of holiday. Um, and things like that. So obviously I will be videoing, filming when I'm on holiday. And this will go up probably when I get back. Uh, because I probably won't have time to edit it on the Sunday. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so you'll kind of see the holiday you know not long after this and you'll kind of know but yes yeah, so if you're going on this type of holiday i thought it would be fun to i don't know get an insight into things like we've got to take food and stuff like that we're only going monday to friday um so it's not like a, a full week but we did this last year in october and we went to the lake district we're going somewhere different this year um but yeah it should be really fun but kind of similar thing if you saw last year's video or if you saw a video i did in february that was kind of similar but that was only a long weekend that was like friday to monday um, so it's a little bit different but yes yeah, so we've got to take food we've got to take um you know walking stuff wintry stuff and things like that so i'm really excited so i'll be showing what food we're picking up and what food we're taking and what clothes and stuff we'll be taking as well and kind of like fun things too because obviously you know books and games and all things like that um i tomorrow not i <laughs> don't know tomorrow we're going to go to go outdoors because i need and josh needs probably i don't know whether i need i probably do we're gonna just see i don't know we're gonna play by ear a pair of walking trousers um because we don't really have anything like that i have need to find a pair of jeans that i have and i've got a pair of leggings oh, but that's kind of all but then i also like to wear like a dress and tights with the walking boots but it's not really practical but it depends i don't really know what we're doing we're also going to plan out what we might do because that's just always a better idea to go in with a bit of a plan i don't i don't like to like over plan and have like a proper itinerary but i do want to have an outline of a plan and maybe too much on the plan so we can be like oh if we look something up and think no we don't want to do that or we're not interested in that now or the weather's bad for it we can just pick something else that's on the list uh, there's one thing that i definitely want to do that i'm so excited for um but yes yeah, so like i said it's gonna be a bit of a prep vlog tomorrow we're going to go outdoors and I don't know anywhere else we might go um josh needs to get some walking socks i've already got some walking socks that i just ordered um online the other day so i kind of actually more prepared i've been kind of picking things up as we go and he hasn't however he did buy a pair of jeans last night uh, we went to the traffic center and he got a pair of like good nice jeans and yeah his other jeans like really stiff these are like that nice stretchy material type of ones which i love those type of jeans 
Um, so he kind of can do a bit of walking in those, so we'll see tomorrow. But yeah, I just wanted to do like a bit of an introductory video to what this is going to be. And obviously it'll just be a bit of an out and about as well. If anything else crops up, that'll be in the vlog. But yeah, it's only going to be a couple of days preparation for a kind of log cabin, lodge, wintry, autumny holiday. So if you're going on one of them type of things or you've thought you might, this is just a preparation video. Okay, so we are back and I picked up a few random bits and then uh, bits from Garrett Doors. So I'll show you the random things first that aren't anything to do with lodge trips but are to do with movies. So we picked up some Shujo Ghibli films, some that I didn't have. Um, the first one being Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. I hope that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Um, it's on the spine there. And this is number one on the spine. Um, I've never seen this one. Then we've got Tales from Earth Sea, which I've also never seen. So really looking forward to that one. That's number 15 in the Studio Ghibli collection. And then we have Laputa Castle in the Sky, which I have seen years and years and years ago, but I'm dying to re-see this one. Uh, I feel like this is one that I really enjoyed and I've always really wanted to watch again, uh, but I've never owned. And this is number six in the Studio Ghibli collection. And then one that isn't Shuji Ghibli that we picked up is The Boy and the Beast. And this is from the people who made Wolf Children. And uh, I saw a trailer for this um, at the beginning of The Red Turtle. And it looked fantastic. So I absolutely cannot wait to watch this. It only came out on DVD, well, DVD and Blu-ray this month, well, September when I'm filming this. And it looks really, really good. So yeah, that's The Boy and the Beast. So if you haven't heard of this one and you enjoy these type of films, I definitely recommend kind of looking that one up. And then the other thing that I got, which again is not really a thing, but is this body spray, um, Impulse, oh, wrong way, Impulse. And they have some really interesting flavours. So there was burnt marshmallow and leather, something and microchips, like they're really weird. And this one is white lace and muddy grass, but it smells really good. They all smell really good. So those are the random things. Uh, now for the go outdoor stuff, it's all Josh's stuff. I, like I say, I picked up some um, walking socks the other day and I've, I've got quite a lot of things already and he didn't. So first he's got this fleece, which is just a plain green fleece. And this was only 12 pounds. It's a high gear one. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then you've got these Jeep socks. We actually didn't get these from Grout Doors, we got these from TK Maxx. So yeah, these were only $5.99 for three socks, so thick socks, like I say, Josh didn't have any of those. And then we got this, which is, you know, for his walking boots, we uh, it's gear cleaner and footwear repel. So it's got like kind of the water repellent and cleaner for all types of shoes. It says um, suitable for use on all types of material, including full grain leather, new book, suede and fabric footwear. So I can use these on mine and he can use these on his because we have got different ones. And then he got these walking trousers, um, which were, um, oh, this was like £11, but I should say this is with a discount card because these were £40, but should have been £70. So that was really good, but we had a discount card uh, for go outdoors so if you get a discount card it's actually pretty worth it and they're just black trousers um so yeah those are all the things we got so he will be taking those things um so we can do some more walking and stuff when we go away and i'll obviously be showing you what we're packing anyway um but those are just the things we picked up today we might do our food shop either later today or tomorrow i'm not really sure and we're going to write a list of things we need just in case we forget anything but yes yeah, so those are all the random bits that we picked up um Okay, so the Amazon man has just arrived and this is actually stuff that I'm taking away on holiday. So this is actually stuff that I ordered particularly for the trip. So let me just... Oh. This is terrible. There we go. Okay. Oh no, I hope it's okay. There's a book in here with something else and sometimes it gets bashed. Oh yeah, it's okay. Okay, so I have this book that I really wanted to get for holiday, which is One Silver Summer by Rachel Hickman. And I've wanted this book for a while. Ooh, look at that spine. Ooh, 
Ooh, but it seemed really nice for holiday. Um, this book's set, I think, in Devon. I'm not going to Devon, but it's kind of set down. And I'm going heading down. It's set in England, and it's got horses. And where I'm going, there's horses and stuff. So I thought this would be a perfect. It's kind of more of a summery read, I think. Obviously, one silver summer, but I feel like it'll suit nicely. And it's quite short as well. So yeah, really looking forward to this. Um, can't wait to read. Oh wait, maybe it's set in Cornwall. Cornwall Castle, summer sea, horses, dogs, tea. Like it just, it just sounds really nice. Like a nice holiday, cozy read. So I'm really looking forward to that. Can't wait to read. That's the first one I'm going to read on holiday. I'm taking a three books and that's what I'm gonna read first and then I have here Hive Pockets okay this looks different than what I thought it was gonna look oh no it's okay yeah it's got a little bag there um this is kind of like a little game and we're gonna take this because it's an easy to travel with game um I've never played it yet but it looks really interesting it's kind of similar to chess in terms of each piece has its own thing that it can do but they've got like little bugs on I actually don't really like bugs but I thought this looked really fantastic I've looked at lots of reviews about it and it's a two player only game which is fine because obviously just me and Josh are going and we can play it so we're actually going to practice this today um, and kind of just learn the rules because I didn't want to be sat on holiday like right okay let's learn the rules for this so yeah we'll probably take another game with us as well um, but again we want kind of small compact things uh, but this is perfect because I don't know if you can see on the back here this uh, orange bit it's like a little bag so you just put it in a little bag you don't even need this box and then you know you're away it's fine so that's perfect really really excited to play that so i'm super excited about that oh anyway, yeah so those are two things i actually ordered um to take on holiday so yes um and like i say i'm gonna make a list of things that we need to pack now things that we need to buy food wise because like i say it's obviously it's a little log cabin it's obviously also catered there is a barbecue there which looks really cute i don't know what the weather's quite going to be like uh, but we might take something for if we want to barbecue um and you know just general things i don't know it, if, if the thing is with that kind of stuff if you take too much it's not really a big deal um because you can just bring it back however the drive is four and a half hours so I don't know whether we would take things that need freezing because I don't know if that's going to be all right. Or like, what about milk? Maybe we buy milk closer. Uh, I think probably what's best is we're going to look up if there's a shop, like nearest shop. It is kind of in the middle of nowhere where we're staying, um, but I'm sure obviously there'll be a shop somewhere. Um, so we might head to the shop after we've got there and just have extra bits that we might need to pick up, like milk and just things like that. I don't know. I'm going to play that by ear. I'm going to think about that now. But yes, I just wanted to show you that those other extra bits that I ordered to take with me. Okay, so just in case you're interested in Hive Pocket, this was only 14 99 on Amazon, which I think is pretty good. And it comes with the two expansions, which are the Mosquito, hopefully that's a Mosquito, and the Ladybug. So you should have two Ladybugs, one black, one white, and two Mosquitoes. So these are the ones that are just at the front, and then this is the Queen Bee. This is kind of the main piece. Obviously one team is black and one team is white. That's the instruction booklet. This is the, ooh, nice little bag. I love it when the bags are like really nice quality. This is a nice, cool quality bag, which is just going to keep everything in. And then these are all the other, yes, there's the, uh, the white ladybug and the black mosquito. And there'll be all the other ones there. So I'm super excited about this. And um, we're not going to be playing with the mosquito or the ladybug at first. And then we'll add you know as it, some of them in as we um get a little bit better and a bit more advanced because each type of bug or whatever does a different ability so it's kind of going to be hard it's grasshopper uh ant a uh, beetle um i think that's it and then the bee oh no sorry spider and then obviously there's duplicates like there'll be like a few ants or you know whatever so yeah, really excited to learn how to play this and I really, really can't wait. I've wanted this game for a while and I think it just looks so great how it's such a little compact game and I think it's going to be one that as we learn to play, um, we'll kind of get better at and it'll become more fun the, the better you kind of get. So yeah, really looking forward to this one and I'll let you guys know on the holiday vlog how we get on with it, whether we enjoy it and things like that. Let's just see what else bugs are. Um, beetle, beetle, grasshopper, yes, it is just what I said, the spiders. Um, and there's the, the black ones so yeah really really cool really happy with these pieces as well the proper like thick high quality pieces okay so we're just packing Josh has managed to pack all of his bits and bobs all in there 
Um, I am in the midst of things. I've got my Gryffindor scarf, which, you know, I'm going for wintry stuff. A shirt, and where's it gone? Oh, there. Vest top to go with it. I feel like I need to iron the shirt before we go, but either way. And then a knitted jumper, which is actually purple, but does not look, well, it's lilac. Doesn't look it on this. Just a t-shirt, which is a three-quarter length. This is a just nice autumny dress, but it has to be warm for leggings because it's like a, not really a dress, it's like a short, it's more like a long t top. A hoodie, which I love, wild and free, and it's blue. Um, a fleece, which I also really love. I'm not sure if I'm taking this cardigan yet actually because the dress I've got is brown and it doesn't go and then the other dress I've got is brown so I might need to switch that out. Uh, just a brown dress, a uh, swimming costume, um, a little hat which again is brown so I might need to, that's why I only switch cardigan, pyjamas, walking boot socks, um, I have another pair of these which I need to find out and then I've got two pairs of leggings but that's the only trousery thing I've got going on at the moment. So I think I need to pick some kind of other trousers out because I can't just wear leggings the whole time uh, and then maybe swap the cardigan and this is my bag which looks huge but I also need to pack I don't know it's a bit big shoes I'll probably put shoes in here um books the game I don't know <laughs> trying to make excuses now for what I pack in here probably some of Josh's stuff because he's only got this small bag like I say um wash bag Stuff like that. Okay, so I'll show you what guy what books Josh has taken. So you've got Hex. Ooh, Room Marks. And if we were villains, exciting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If if you have problems switching down, you can just put it in the bag I've got here. I'm gonna take three as well. Okay everybody, so today is Sunday, so this is the last day before we go away, so today we're going to be doing the food shop, sorting out the car, we're in my car now, Josh is driving, because we might swap um, during the trip, and we're taking my car, and I'm going to drive it first, and like I said, I might get bored and we might swap, because it's quite a long drive, and he hasn't driven it for a while, so just practice him while we go to the shop, and put air in the tyres, petrol in the car, wood screen wash, whatever it is, and... I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out in a minute. Because I've still I've only put some in the other day, so I've still actually got some. Um anyway, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the food shop as well. So we kinda have a list and then I'm also need to sort out well we need to finish packing. There's quite a few things I've got on my list which I can't remember. And we I need to edit and upload some videos pre ahead. So this one I think I will actually edit and upload. So I'll kind of round it up and then do this one and then one I filmed the other day and then I need to film my Sunday one and hopefully that'll be that. Also another thing I wanted to say is I was gonna film a few more videos today for upload next week but like I said I've got three going up next week but I think that'll be everything because otherwise I feel like because I've got quite a few things I know I need to do I feel like my videos they won't be what I wanted them to be and there's some that I've been looking forward to filming and I feel like I've just like maybe they end up being a bit half-hearted or not I don't know or edited quickly or not put the time in that I wanted so when you see this if there has been less videos it's just because I thought that was probably better the video ideas I had I'm gonna film when I get back because I'm really excited about them so hopefully that'll be fine I'm sure no one will notice maybe I don't know PPS I realize I'm wearing the exact same thing I've literally just forgotten because I put this on because I thought oh well I'll just wear this again because I'm, you know whatever and I packed quite a few things and I just thought well it doesn't matter and I'm gonna film a video today and I didn't even film a video yesterday so I can wear this and I was like oh this video is just basically me in the same dress but you know it is what it is I wear this dress two days in a row if I want to okay so we got a big lot of stuff from Aldi um we might end up having too much stuff obviously with having a car and taking a car it doesn't really matter because we can just bring things back so it's not really a big deal and it is quite um in the middle of nowhere so we're not really sure uh, if we're gonna be able to just nip to the shop or anything like that so we just want to be better prepared than be like oh no we've got to drive half an hour to the shop and blah blah um, and now we're going to Sainsbury's to pick up a few other bits that we couldn't get from Aldi um, like a curry and some things like that but I'll show you what we pick up and then we're also going to go and do the petrol air in the tyres and that whole thing and then we'll pretty much be done obviously you've got to sort your boots out shower and then film my Sunday video and then I need to finish packing because I didn't 
I only packed clothes. I want to pack a couple more books, my towel, uh, you know, washing stuff, um, and things like that. Yeah, I can't think of much else. So, oh, I want to take a hot water bottle in case it gets really cold. Because remember, we were sitting somewhere, we were at Old London in February, and I wished I would have taken a hot water bottle. Like, I really wished I would have done that because it was a bit cold. Oh, well, the shops in London. Yeah, in London we went round and looked for a hot water bottle and we couldn't find one because it was separated, it was kind of cold. And we thought, oh, we'll find one. We couldn't. I definitely don't think we'll be able to find one there, even though it is more the season for hot water bottles. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we've been seeing trees, we've done all the stuff. I feel like we're getting on top of things now, do you? Mm. No? Uh, it's because we've been out for a really long time, longer than we thought. Yeah. Uh, because, I don't know, things just took ages. Everybody was out this yeah. Sunday. There was just too many people. And um, I'm going to do a quick overview of things that we picked up. Um, just so you can see what I've already put music over rather than going into everything because obviously you can just get an idea. Obviously, like I said, we're going from Monday to Friday, so we might have a little bit too much. We're not sure. But I'm sure we'll be fine because obviously. Right. Yeah, if not, we can obviously take it back because, like I said, we've got the car. I've already said the sentence. We've not got any crisps. No. But we did see them. No, we didn't. No, the pretzels. But yeah, there's a few things that we might. We'll, I'm sure there'll be a little shop somewhere. Um, we'll get some stuff from the little shop, so... Been doing it, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This tiny <laughs> little bit. No, I've been putting things, packing things away as I've been trying to show them because it was hard because I was trying to unpack and display. So that was most of our foods, bar as well potatoes. We forgot potatoes. Josh is gonna go get some potatoes later, and he's gonna get some beers. Um, but yeah, I guess a lot of it kind of seems like quick, easy food because that's what we want. We don't want to be making like. Fancy like proper full meal. meals it's just going to be like kind of easy stuff like we've obviously got the curries we can just put those in um you know chicken oh we need to get the spice to put on the chicken but things like that potatoes we're going to just make wedges and have those with most things because they're just easy whole bag of potatoes rather than having chips and obviously we don't know what kind of cooking stuff they're going to have there so it's just easier to if go if everything you just go in and open yeah then we just kind of pick these stuff and then we've obviously got some kind of junky snacky type of things and for lunch we've got rice pot noodles some sausages Things like that. Baking. Um, yeah. yeah, baking, you can have some breakfast. Anything like eggs or any fresh stuff. Like we've only, we've got some grapes. If we want any more fruits or anything, we're gonna just get it there. And any more bread, because obviously, date-wise, things kind of um, got a date. So we're just gonna kind of pick some, maybe anything, if we need anything else like that. Um, but probably that's, yeah, that's all the food we picked up. And then I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of other extra bits that I'm packing in terms of my books. Um, what kind of DS games I'm gonna take. 
Um, what else do I need to pack? Well, basically, it's basically yeah, yeah. Towels. Um, towels, yeah, but I'll show you what books I'm taking and then that'll kind of be the end of this video. So hopefully it was kind of helpful, maybe it wasn't, I don't know, to what we kind of pack for this type of trip. Uh, but yeah, always best to take easy foods. We don't know if they have a kettle yet. It doesn't say they do. It says like toaster, hob, cooker. You'd assume they have a kettle. Well, I'm presuming they do. And if not, we'll have to find a kettle because we love, oh, we need to pack a couple of tea bags and coffee and stuff, but obviously that's stuff we have here. Um, yeah, so all the kind of stuff you kind of haven't seen is just stuff we already have. We didn't need to pick up. Okay, so it is a little bit later now. Um, and I was just going to show you the final things I am packing. I'm going to be taking a blanket because blanket throw is nice and cosy. I'll be taking my um, 2DS XL so I can play free F games. I'm going to be taking that. The games I'm going to be taking are Pokemon Sun because um, Josh has Pokemon Moon. He's going to be taking that. He's really close to completing it and I'm getting pretty close. So we've been playing this a lot lately. I love this game. Um, once we finish this we want to pick up Pokemon X and Y because those are two that we um, missed out on. We had a Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby but not X and Y. And the other game I'll be taking is Ever Oasis which I've been really loving at the moment as well. Um, Hive Pocket I showed yesterday. We have since had a go of this and it is lots of fun. The two other books I'll be taking, I showed one yesterday but in the same video, is Strange Star by Emma Carroll. I absolutely love Emma Carroll's books and I've been saving this one for October because it kind of has like an October vibe so yeah I can't wait for that one and I'll be taking The Gift of the Dark Hollow which is a middle grade book and it's a sequel to The Legend of Pumpkin One Ear which I absolutely loved uh, and I was really surprised because I just read it for um, because it was a book of the month and I really really enjoyed it so yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this and it's definitely got kind of wintry autumn -y vibes what the first one did anyway um, so I've taken those two and there and then I've got my towel. So. Okay, so just finally got his Amazon package. One thing left you wanted to get for holiday. Here's a bag. And you got a bag. I can't actually see it because it's dark and it's just black. Yeah, it's That's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's bigger than I thought it was actually. What's this? Uh, 25 litres? 2025, yeah. The other one what was the other one you're looking at? 40. My god, that would have been huge! Are you happy with it? Well, I guess you can't really. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. You always use my backpack, don't you? What I've not got a bag, have I? You wanted a more mutual coloured. I mean, milk. 75 quid, that was a 20 quid, so. On Amazon, so good bargain find, yeah? Yeah. What's this sticky bit on the front here? I don't know. Wait, do you stick something on it? Where oh you no! What? Oh. What? As I was filming this, I'm rendering some videos and I've just knocked the SD card out, so I'm going to have to start again. <laughs> That's depressing. <laughs> oh no. Got loads of little compartments and everything. Anyway, this is pretty much the end of this video, isn't it? Because we're not really we've packed up, we're all in the car, all ready to go. Yeah. And we're just waiting for that one last thing, aren't we? So the next video will be the actual holiday vlog. Yeah. It's a little weird. What's that for? I don't know. It's a weird one, isn't it? Put little bits and bobs in there. That's nice small. We've got water areas. Oh we need to remember to take the water bottle. Right, water bottle. Yeah. You need that, remember that. It's in the cupboard. Yeah. Got a laptop holder a bit in the back. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, good.